Kinds of three F's, fiddling, farming, and family. How about that? Let's find out more. Hi, Steve. When I was a kid growing up in Richmond, Indiana, I spent a lot of time here on the Klimper family farm. To be honest, it had a lot more to do with the Klimper girls than it did with my love of farm chores. So I jumped at the chance to come back and do a story about a family tradition that began before they started farming. Listen. Spend a little time on a farm and you'll hear nature's music. The call of its song brought George Klimper from Germany to eventually buy this property in 1941. Oh, look, look. He shared his love of the land and its music with his children. Daughter Carolyn still lives on the farm and carries the tradition forward. Like her father, she was introduced to music by a special violin. When he was three years old, his father gave him a chocolate violin, and Daddy was so upset that it was a chocolate violin that his father hadn't taken him seriously. He stomped on it and broke it into pieces. And then his father realized, this guy is serious. So he had a little violin made. When I was five years old, my father, for my birthday, handed me his violin. That was the beginning. He was my teacher. Soon, the duet became a trio when the violin was passed to younger sister Erica. It seemed those Clipper girls were always practicing, and it paid off. with both playing professionally, Erica in London and Carolyn in New York City. When Carolyn was 24, George was killed in a farming accident, but she still hears his mantra, family, fiddle, and farm. I love the farm, I love nature, and I love music, and I, I couldn't be without either one of them. But even while working in New York City, the call of the farm often brought her home, where she balanced hard work on the land with her devotion to music. In 1977, she formed the Chanticleer Quartet with musicians from around the world. Every summer, they share their passion with concerts throughout the Midwest. like this one at the Arts Garden in downtown Indianapolis. We have this festival every summer since 1977. Until 2020, that is, when COVID forced the quartet to unite virtually for their 44th annual music festival. Now, usually, of course, we musicians meet in our big farmhouse on Chanticleer Farm, just south of Richmond. Hi, everyone. My name is Stefan Jory, and I also play the violin. I'll play a little piece for him. But COVID also blessed Carolyn with a chance to pass on the family tradition to a new generation. Her granddaughters came to stay for five and a half months. There you go. Carolyn rejoiced as teaching over Zoom blossomed into face-to-face -face sessions. <laughs> Before the season's final concert, the farm is abuzz with last-minute preparations. There's one more rehearsal. The stage and band shell are assembled. And the granddaughters hand-color the programs. Everyone hopes the morning showers end before the first note sounds. The skies do clear as the friends of Chanticleer arrive with their blankets and folding chairs. We never know how a simple act, like smashing a chocolate violin, can produce ripples that last for generations. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.